Good news! Splash Math is now available for kindergarten on your iPads. This short tutorial is going to walk you through how to set up the app on your student iPads. The first thing you will want to do is find the Internet Login app on your iPad and tap on it. Next, you will arrive at the Internet Login window. Students will need to enter their username and password assigned by Granville Public Schools in order to log into the Internet. Their username is their first name and last name with no spaces, no capitals, and no nicknames. Their password should be their initials. Once students have entered this information, they should tap Login and verify that they are logged into the Internet. Then they may close the login window by tapping on the Home button. Now that you are logged into the Internet, please return to the Home screen and find the Splash Math app. Tap on it to open it up. If a student has never opened the Splash Math app, they should come to this screen. Some students will not see the same screen that I am showing here. That is because they've opened Splash Math already and accidentally registered it incorrectly. After I walk through how to properly register it from the first screen, I will show you how to fix any improperly registered student devices. Let's get started. If your iPad is on the screen, registration will be simple. Please ignore the play button in the center of the screen and look to the upper right hand corner for the words already registered. Please tap on the words already registered. Do not tap on play. After tapping on the already registered words on the front page of Splash Math, you will be brought to the sign in page for Splash Math. This is where students can sign into their account using the username and password set up through the teacher roster list. Teachers can create unique usernames and passwords through their roster accounts. It is okay to create the same password for every student. Once students' username and password are entered in, tap on sign in. Once a student is logged into their Splash Math account, in the lower left-hand corner, you should see their name with full access to all the Splash Math content. Once a student is logged into Splash Math, they do not need to log out or log back in again. They can simply hit the home button after they are done with the session to send the data to you and to close the app for the day. So now we need to walk through what to do if a student iPad Splash Math has been incorrectly registered. Depending on what point they are at in registration, they may see one of four or five screens. Please watch each one of the following steps that are in sequence and pick up wherever your student's particular screen might be at. Okay, so if a student got the initial um, screen and hit play instead of hitting already registered, they would initially come to this screen that says enter player name. If the iPad you're working on says enter player name, type in any name and hit next. It doesn't matter because you're going to unregister the name anyway. On the next screen, students will be asked to choose a grade level. They can choose any grade level. It really doesn't matter since we are going to be walking back out of registration. The next screen will ask for a parent email. Ignore this request by tapping on the X in the upper right hand corner. After entering in a name and selecting a grade level, you will see that the student is registered with limited access to Splash Math. We would like the full access version of Splash Math, however. So to fix this and get students registered properly, please look in the upper left-hand corner for the envelope that says register underneath it. Once you find the envelope, please tap on it. After tapping on the envelope, you will come back to an enter parent email screen. The difference is on this screen, there will be a spot on the bottom that says already registered. If you tap on the already registered, it will take you back to the original registration page where students can enter their teacher issued username and password. 
Here's what it looks like up close. After tapping on Already Registered, you should be brought back to the original sign-in screen for Splash Math. This is where students enter their teacher-provided username and password from their roster. After they enter their username and password, they may tap Sign In and get started with using the premium full version of the Splash Math app.